You may have heard or read about cattle biosecurity. What does this actually mean? So the whole purpose of on our farm we're trying to do is to start, try and stop the interreaction between badgers and cattle. So if one is diseased, it doesn't give it to the other. Along with the netting on our feed store door to keep the birds out, at the bottom of the door, we've gone and put some hard rubber to stop the badger getting underneath. Because inside all these feed stores along here, if the badger got in and urinated, it could be one way of spreading the disease to our cattle. For our cattle troughs, we're raising the cattle troughs up higher to make it more difficult for badgers to get access to the water. Still possible, but just more difficult. This will stop the interaction between badgers and cattle even more. Part of our biosecurity measures is having badger-proof gates around our farm buildings. So what is a badger-proof gate? Well, it's got to have a small gap at the bottom so the badger can't get underneath, and it's got to have net on less than four inches so the badger can't get through. And around the perimeter of the farm, we've also got a mesh fence as well, again, to stop the badgers coming into the buildings. You've seen some of the one or two measures we're trying on this farm to improve our biosecurity. Not all these can be done overnight, but bit by bit, we're improving our biosecurity, whether it's gates, whether it's water troughs, whether it's raised feed troughs, whether it's simply keeping our cattle separate from our neighbours' cattle. So there's no one single answer to TB. It's about a whole array of answers and tools in the box that we must use. But what farmers are very keen on is we have a long-term plan that has credibility that we can see working on our own farms. No long-term plan will work to get rid of TB unless wildlife is part of that plan.